So, what kind of statement are you making with that costume, Kevin? Well, the statement that I am making, Oscar, is I kind of look like Michael Moore. Thunder Mifflin, this is Aaron. Happy Halloween. How can I haunt you today? A lot of people are really getting into Halloween this year. Six seconds, McRuber! Pan's got a lot of fun stuff planned. Two seconds, McRuber! Including a costume contest and bombing for apples and a Ouija board. Oh, boom! Oh, explosion! McRuber! People are really into the costume contest this year. Might have something to do with the prize. Maybe you've heard of it. The 2011 Scranton Wilkes-Barre coupon book worth over $15,000 in savings. Stop. Too late. If I was the real Scranton Strangler, you'd be so strangled by now. And if you're out there, Strangler, you will get caught by me. Sounds like someone's really trying to convince us that he's not the Scranton Strangler. To my chickens, I'm the Scranton Strangler. Oh, ho, that's very funny. Looks like someone decided to dress up as old Dwight Schrute's mom. What? You're only one third as beautiful and about half her height. I'm supposed to be olive oil. And it makes more sense when I'm standing next to Popeye, but Jim doesn't want to put his costume on. I am Popeye. I've never really been a costume guy. Even when I was a kid, it just felt like something I was too old for. <laughs> and then this morning, Pam hands me this little number. No. <gasps> Kelly. Great costume. Oh. Kelly, you cannot change costumes in the middle of the day. Pam, she's out. Um, if I'm out, I'm gonna sue this entire company for discrimination. Guys, you're arguing over a one in 16 chance, over a prize worth 40 bucks. Um, 15,000 bucks, Oscar. Yeah, shut it, Oscar. Pam, this is an amazing prize. I mean, I don't even wanna give Pam a compliment because she's so ugh, but she did a good job. I really want that coupon book. Sugar. Bill Compton from True Blood. How many freaking vampires am I supposed to care about these days? I uh, guess you could say I'm still in costume. I'm a rational consumer. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah. The stupid coupon booklet. Have you seen my costume? I'm a rational consumer. Yeah, I heard you uh, say it to Phyllis. It's a good line. Oh. OK, everybody. After you walk the runway, everyone has to vote for who gets the coupon book. And you can't vote for yourself. Pam. Can you vote for other people? Hey, I gotta get in on this. Hey, it's cool. Man, I work in the warehouse. I'm cool. I'm hip and I'm jive. But I don't care about nobody. Do you know who I am? Happy Halloween, jerk! Still don't know who I am? I'll give you a hint. I go over other people's heads. Michael, this is a bad idea. What's a bad idea? Dressing up as somebody. I mean, when has that ever worked for you? Never! OK. You know what? Fine. I'm not Daryl. And thank God I'm not Daryl. Could you, for once, just let us enjoy a party instead of making it about all your issues? That's a warrior. I present to you the rational consumer, as it were. I don't like your tone. Look, they were sold out of all the other costumes, okay? I think we all live in the real world here. Let's not pretend to be unaware of what sells in this office. Oh, wow. Spinach in a can. Power from spinach. I got, 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 got. Aw, my hero. <laughs> okay, everyone, I've tallied the votes, and the winner of the Costume Celebration Spectacular and the Scranton Wilkes-Barre Coupon Book, Oscar Martinez. If I have to vote for someone, I don't want it to be someone who can beat me. Shake things up. I'm a Nader guy. Best Edward James almost costume I've ever seen. Like, freaky good.